going on? It's another paintball family trip vacation, summer vacation. We're out here at Pace Bend State Park. Um, beautiful place, lots of trees. Um, obviously, big lake in the background. We're setting up back here uh, for our campsite for the day. Gonna do a little grilling out. Going to do probably some hiking, maybe some cliff jumping, something like that. Water's a little low and it's end of July. August, beginning of August, so kind of hot out here. So we're gonna do this today. We're gonna do the San Marcos River tomorrow. We're gonna float um, and then pack up the house and head home on Sunday around midday. Maybe a little barbecue surprise on Sunday on the way home, we'll see. Um, I think the girls wanna go hiking before it gets super hot outside, so we're getting ready to take them over there and uh, get them going on the trails. Are y'all excited to hike? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In this blazing Texas sun, we got this. We all have a weakness. Some of ours are easy to identify. Look me in the eye and ask for forgiveness. We'll make a pact to never speak that word again. Yes, you are my friend. So when weakness turns my ego up, I know you count on me from yesterday. If I turn it to a little dig me up from my dirt, what is covering? <laughs> All right, so I didn't necessarily close out the whole cliff jumping thing. Um, and the reason is because we had to kind of get out of there pretty quickly. As we were leaving the park, Chris started having some trouble uh, breathing. We had realized he would, had a couple ant bites, which he was allergic to. Everything's good, everybody's cool. We just finished dinner. Chris and Caitlin are back here. Everybody's fine. Um, shouldn't interfere too much with the rest of the weekend plans, but um, um, luckily we were very close to help. They got AMS there very quickly. So I want to say thanks to the Pace Ben staff and the uh, officers that were there to help us. They did a fantastic job. Just finished dinner. I think we're going to probably play some games. Cookies are in the oven. Recharge tonight and get going tomorrow for the river. So a little bit of a rocky start, but we're hoping to finish the rest of the weekend pretty strong. Hey KB. Hi. Explain how excited you are for the river. I'm super pumped for the river. <laughs> She's super pumped for the river. Sweet. From the streets of Compton, I told them all. All the little gangsters, who do you think you're more than all? Now you want to run around talking about Baby, I don't understand why we can be lovers. Things are getting out of hand.
Don's with the tube rental place. Everybody getting lotioned up, protected. What? What? It's country rap versus rap country. <laughs> yeah, she's got it. Now we just don't gonna do it in the line. Oh, get it, get it. So John, what's the strategy for this float? I need some pro tips. She's gotta protect the beard. Protect the beard. Any means necessary. Brian somehow looks like he's covered in Vaseline already. Katie Beth, are you next? Yes. This? Clearly. Round two. TJ, we had a malfunction. Are you more hungry or more drunk? Both. Drunk. <laughs> All right, so we're done with the river. Everybody is either drunk or hungry. Brian is both, so we're devouring everything that is in the coolers. Gonna make a trip back into town, get showered up, and then head to dinner. I believe Katie Beth picked out a place. But someone said chicken fried steak, so that means I'm automatically in. Anyway, we're gonna finish this off, eat a couple snacks, and then pack up and head back to the house. All right, we're here for dinner at Jack Allen's. Apparently a favorite place of Miss Katie Beth. I think the guys are already here, right? Okay, so everybody's napped up. Food, definitely. Everybody's so hungry. Chicken fried steaks, the works. Everybody's completely exhausted from being on the river. We got home, we cleaned up. Some people caught a quick nap. Everybody's pretty famished, so excited to get something in the stomach. All right, John, how was dinner? It was all right. One to 10 scale. 11? 11? <laughs> one, one, two ones, that's how one it was. <laughs> all right, we're done with dinner, heading back to the house. No complaints, I think dinner was pretty good. Dessert was excellent, peach cobbler. Um, although it was more of a crumble, I'll take exception to that. Hey, Ronnie, quit talking to yourself. <laughs> talking to the people. The people deserve. The people need to hear about this peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's pretty tired. I think we're gonna try to play games when we get back. We lost to Caitlin. All right, we're all packing up, getting ready to head out of here. No closing to the video last night because pretty much once we got back from dinner, everybody went horizontal. Everybody was pretty worn out from the river. That's what uh, several hours in pretty intense heat and drinking will do to you. But today's gonna be pretty cool because we're thinking about taking a little detour on the way back home to hit up some of the more famous barbecue places. Uh, in Texas, out in Lockhart. It's like in the morning and I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> it's so hot out here. So yeah, that's the plan for today. A little bit of travel, a little bit of food, saying goodbyes, and uh, until next time. Sorp. Ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. You ready to eat? Yes, I am. <laughs> you ready to eat? Give me some meat.
<laughs> Are you ready to eat? I am starving. Give me the meat. Give some of that brown spicy sausage. <laughs> Or do you want to skew one side or the other because of the weight of the ribs? Both we can do. You want to do half of one, half of the other, and then a pound of brisket. How many pounds of meat are you gonna eat? Uh, you know, just two or three. <laughs> I'm only a little bit hungry. You know, you know, just just as long as we're nice. It's so hot in here. Smoke max is going. Got a meal. Now, Chris, I am going to have to disagree with you on the pork rib versus beef rib debate. <laughs> I'm going to say that the beef ribs are better than the pork ribs. No, Hot take. Today, the beef was pretty good. Hot take. Uh -uh, the pork was better. Hot take. Carol's team pork. What do you guys, what do you think? Team pork. Team pork? Okay. pork. Team pork? Team beef today. Yeah, so me and Kayla are saying beef. Team wrong. <laughs> team wrong. <laughs> nice crust. Nice crust. Moist. I will Moist. Get pork ribs. Pork ribs are a little dry. Pork ribs are a little dry. <laughs> <laughs> Got to mind support for the dryness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what? You say it's other about the sides. I just wasn't impressed. Well, you didn't have the mac and cheese. I didn't have the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Ten of ten. Uh, would recommend it. Right. How did you feel about the mac and cheese? Yeah, the mac and cheese was glorious. The other sides. Next time, mac and cheese. Side of mac and cheese. I, th I thought the potatoes were bad. They had like a weird vinegary vinegar. Yeah. yeah. I found the potatoes to be hitting this like bite to bite was different. They were roughly mixed. Which, which one will I get? It's a surprise every time. Pickles, A plus though. The pickle game here is strong. All right, so we're finishing up here. Uh, got a bit of a drive home. Kind of took a little detour to come out this way. And Dairy Queen. Oh, yeah. Dairy Queen. Uh, the, the Dairy Queen. <laughs> So yeah, finishing off the trip Dairy with uh, Dairy Queen. <laughs> finishing off the trip with a little bit of uh, blizzard action. Oh, that's if I don't fall asleep after eating all this. Getting a little bit of the overload feeling right now, but good trip. I think we're gonna try to play games when we get back. Yeah, play games with that groin. <laughs>